All right. So welcome on in, everybody. We are doing a fresh profile, brand new, brand spanking new profile um, with nobody else unlocked and uh, none of the abilities unlocked. And we're going to we're going to go from here. So um, the way the narrator speaks always gives you the chills. Yeah, they, they have uh, Wayne June has always done a great job of pre presenting himself. Sorry for the. Uh, of the hiccups in there and stuff. I'm still still a little phlegmy and stuff from being sick. But of course, we only have the base heroes um, and their base kits. So we're kind of limited in where we're going to put people um, right now. But this is generally the best spot for this team. Uh, you can actually move this team in any direction and it will always have a name. Fun fact. But the unusual suspects is what we're going to go for. Now, let's take a look at our quirks. See if we got lucky of anything. Early riser, flawed release is okay. Daredevil's fine. Vulnerable's not great on her. Fuss eater don't is a little annoying because right now all we're gonna have is slime mold, so that's a little unfortunate. Iron constitution is good. Lazy is a little upsetting. Bon viv is good. Germaphobe fine. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Always have to humble yourself when doing a fresh profile of this game because it is. It's a brutal game, man, and I haven't played it since they've made some changes and updates and whatnot. So. And what is hope enough yet remains of the world? Um, speaking of new profile, is that the only situation where it's worth hoarding candles for meta progression? Yeah, pretty much at this point, currently. Once you have a fully unlocked altar outside of memories, there's really nowhere to sink your candles into repetitively. So we'll have to see if they add anything in the future. But yeah, right now, if you have a fully unlocked altar, you're not really got much use. So back to work. All right, Barryman. Hope you have a good rest of your day at work. Lurk, bitch. Thanks for the lurk, bitch. I forgot that that command does that. Okay, at least we're starting off okay here with three zombos. But yeah, so, we're, you know, we're, we've got some decent stuff. You know, take aim... Uh, is always good. Duelist Advance is fine. Uh, I believe we have Rampart, Defender, Hold the Line. Like, so we have Stress Healing. Um, we have Healing Healing. You know, you got, you got everything that you really need to, like, make, make stuff work here. Um, but we are going to focus down the front row if we can. So, we have to remember that all of our resistances are going to be lower. Um, so, something to keep in mind. Ah, unfortunate. Uh, flashing dagger is how much? Enough to kill. So I might as well go for flashing daggers, get a little damage into this guy. This is fine. We'll go rampart here. Push him back, maybe daze him. Lovely. Alright. Um, good kill. Very nice. So, one thing that you should always be paying attention to, and I'm bad about this, is checking your damage before you go. Just so you know, you know, you can kind of calculate exactly how many more hits, and you don't end up being left with that situation where you think something should have died and it didn't, and then it gets an extra hit on you. I do that all the time, because I don't take the time, but... Oh yeah, the five mastery points, I forgot. That's that's a nice benefit for, for early runs. That's, uh, you can basically fully master one of your heroes. Um, we're probably going to go with Bolster, because stress healing early on is going to be useful. Hey, exactly. How's it going? Take aim is always a good option. I don't think we have... Do we have Grape Blast? Grape Shot I'll Blast? We don't. That's a lot of nuts! <laughs> That's a lot of nuts! AKA the enemy crits you right before dying situation? Exactly. Yeah. We would come here in summers of years gone to write, All right. think... So we have a limited selection. You see our Wainwright is, uh, we've only got one stagecoach item we can throw on. We don't have any pets yet. So um, not too much here to take a look at. Is there anything, um, like spacious storage trunk is pretty good early on, uh, especially this early on. The crow's nest could also be pretty good. Um. Right now, the only food we have is slime mold, but I'm thinking this is a pretty good find early on, especially because of our limited inventory right now. So this is going to be very helpful for us in the long run. Um, we can still get almost... We can almost fully feed our team. 
So I might avoid avoid that right now. <clears throat> yeah, and sorry for the uh sorry for the sniffles and whatnot. I think Laudanum <clears throat> Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I like haven't had this issue all day. Of course it's like when I start. Um you know, let's go for two glimmers, two laudanum. This will be a good start for us. And then we can get two of these trinkets. Let's go for a minor sharpness such charm and a minor gilded mine. In such a little we'll thing. give him the gilded mine. We'll give him the sharpness charm. Um, yeah, that's fine. And then we'll get the, uh, the items on them. We'll go to the Wainwright. Shove this on there. Good. An and then we're going to go ahead and unlock bolster or upgrade bolster. Um... I think take aim is going to be a very valid one. Very powerful in the early game. Um, Battlefield medicine for the healing right now. Healing is going to be really good for us. Ounce of prevention could also be very good for us early on. Just trying to stop ourselves from dying too quickly. And... Hmm. Let's go with Duelist Advance. Let's let's take advantage of Repost. It's a very powerful thing. This is this is where we're gonna probably need to focus on candles. But it's really hard. You know what? Mastery points are probably gonna be better. Avoid the hoarder. More hoarders. That's fine. The farms and fields of our kingdom overrun with putrescence. Though early on, the fetter is gonna be really tough for us. Ish. It'll be really tough with this team. Well, it's only the Plague Doctor that's suffering a little bit, so we'll, we'll go. We'll go for it. We'll see how it, we'll see how we fare, huh? All right. Let us go into the diseased yonder that is the fetter. The feeder? The foder? Uh, there's so many pronunciations of this. I don't even think the devs know what to call it. They just call it anything. The rancid crop grows unchecked. Yeah, we're definitely not going for a region one lair right now. We're going to avoid that. <laughs> um, I guess we'll just go straight forward. Can't really do anything with the hoarder right now. Um... Okay, we've got a bit of loathing here. We don't let it speak to me. Oh, the other thing we're gonna want to try to find is shrines, right? If we can possibly find a shrine, that'll be very helpful. Definitely want to get abilities unlocked. I think Barristan and Dismiss are gonna be our priorities as far as getting unlocks. Ooh, very good find early on. This is great for our Plague Doctor. Um, that'd be super helpful. One of the fetter to be the most disgusting region. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's giant hulking towers of meat. It's of pretty gross. Alright, well, we've got a rough patch coming up. We do have to be cautious. We have, uh, we do have less wheels and less armor, so it doesn't go as far. Oh, smoke bombs, those are pretty good. We don't need the torches right now. Uh, so this, the smoke bomb will be more beneficial for us. Pretty good set of finds there. The smell too. I mean, you can probably tell that it smells. Fight, run, fight with strength. We'll take the fight. Right now we want items, we want money, we want everything that we can get. This, wow, okay. Region 1, it's not a good fight for Region 1 early... Yeah, this is not great for us. Um, there is well, I'm going to boost everybody's perfection. Blight Resist and hope that that helps us out a little bit. Puts everybody at like a 50%, which is which is good. Well, I'll try to blind the Dinner Cart. Uh, unfortunately, did not happen. I think we'll focus down the, uh, the front row here if we can. I can take aim. It's going to be good for us here. And 
We've got block tokens for now. We'll do defender later. That daze doesn't do much rest, but... Oof. Unfortunate. That they both went for him. Uh, Alright. Well, thankfully we've got Duelist in advance, so that's good. Great hit, and it pierced, which is amazing. And let's go ahead and just ram this guy back. We don't have a corpse clear, so we do need to keep that in mind. <clears throat> he will cause a problem if we let him eat corpses. A miscalculation, perhaps. Dang. That's unfortunate. That's going to be 13. This will be 10. Let's go with the 13 damage. Hey, Colbert, how's it going? Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Here we go again. Thankfully, we are rolling before him. Um, which is good. But he does have a big hit that's coming up right now, so... Yeah, we're not going to be able to do much against it, though, so. We'll see where this goes. Okay, that's not too bad. Great hit. You love to see it. Boom. Uh, going good at work. Do not get off until 930, so I'm going to be lurking until I get off. Well, thank you very much for the lurk, my friend. I appreciate it. And I hope the rest of your day goes well. Yeah, for these for these fights, we have to be a lot more tactical than I normally would be. I have to really think about every decision that we're making. That's a good haul, though. 12 and 15 for that. Pretty good. Um, <clears throat> I think the assistance encounter is probably a good one for us right now. Do need to keep our torchlight up. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a road heal soon. Nope. No such luck. Oh, well. The past is morbid. Let it die. Hey, Goss. How's it going? Welcome on in. Quad zombies. Great. Good use of ounce here. This will beef everybody's disease resist. Make it slightly better. Uh, let's check order of operations here. That guy is going first. We actually want him being where he is. So we're going to go ahead and hit here. Hey, hey, Mike, how's it going? Always laugh at your name, man. Doing something I shouldn't be doing here, which is distributing damage. I really need to be careful about that. Great dodge. Love to see it. Disease early on in an early profile like this is a big, big issue. We definitely don't want to have that happen, so... I'm going to try to avoid it as much as possible. Shy's a bit too horny. I mean, Shy is Shy is what Shy is. I, I can't change can't change the guy. He wants to be horny. He can be horny. Most of the darkest dungeon community is pretty horny. Let's just be real here. We have to go for a heal here. So let's go do that. All right, what's the order here? He's going first. So if we knock him out, knock him back, then. We will, uh, oh no, that actually screwed us. I forgot about the days. Like, that'll help us. No, it actually didn't, but that's fine. And even with the 55% resist, we're still taking all that blight. There, we resisted one. There we go. All right, how much health here? Three? Can we get a three with flashing daggers? It's possible. Damn it. Ah, damn. There we go. Yeah. 
probably didn't need to do that, a honestly. Taught is a lesson learned. All right. Okay, cleansing sensor is pretty good. Put it on him. Just dealing with whatever we can get at this point. We're doing all right. We're okay on health. We're okay on stress. Um, where are we headed to next? We have an assistance encounter and then a bunch of big old fat question marks. You saying Shy's horny? Yeah, you're the one talking about grave robber's thighs? Damn, dude. Um, that is in items. This is combat items. That is scouting. Um... Scouting could be pretty useful for us. Let's go with scouting. I do want to see if we can find a shrine. Getting shrines early on is going to be helpful for us. There's one. Can we get to it, though? I don't think we can. I think we're locked out of it. Oh, nope. We definitely can. Sweet. Off to the shrine. Flush this stream too much. That's your own fault, man. I don't, I don't unfortunately get to watch this stream as much as I would like to. It's always on when I'm busy. How dare he? How dare he have a schedule that doesn't fit precisely with mine? Now, yeah, picking up as much uh, junk as I can here. Oh, speaking of junk, four laudanum is definitely not junk. That's for sure. I think our torch eye is pretty high right now, so. I'd be hot as fuck. Hell yeah. I think anybody would be. Um, okay, so who do we want to unlock stuff with first? I think we're going to go with the highwayman. Probably. I think Barristan is pretty good with what he has. We'll probably kind of switch between the two of them, but let's go. Honestly, don't, I haven't done Dismas's stuff in a while, so I don't really remember his. Highwayman. I haven't done the stories in so long. Freedom. The closed captions think you were talking about chili, torches, and jobs. Sounds about right. Freedom. Excited to rediscover them, yeah. I honestly, I hope I don't lose them. Oh, it's Buff Dismas. There he is. Buff Dismas. Okay, Lunging Cuff, Ford, Marks. This removes the thingy, Madu Hickory, Bobby, blah, 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 blah. All right. Huh? Take that, you filthy blaggard. Yeah, you blaggard. Get blagged on, you nerd. Defeat the guards to escape, right? We have to defeat the guards. Jesus, dude, dude fucking needs somebody to death, man. Like... Like, bro, chill. You're gonna be okay. I think we have to stop from getting to max stress, though, right? So I may need to move. I don't. God, I don't remember how to do this, honestly. Nisa already turned to stone. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, that gives me dodge plus, too, which is pretty good. Teaser hyped me up for real. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see the teaser today? Yo, that shit looks... What What are your thoughts on the teaser, Tilapia? What, what are your thoughts on it? I'm interested to see what people think about it. Um, I don't think I can dodge this. Right? I think if we hit 9 stress, we die. So we kind of need to kill him here. Okay. Yeah! We did it. Oh, we get PBR from that. Nice. Ugh, oh, excuse me. A free one, nonetheless. 
Might be for a bomb or for new character. I know a lot of people are saying Abomination, and I know a lot of people are saying um, Flagellant, or the two that people are saying. Yeah, there was a teaser that they put on their Twitter, Mike. It's a bomb that tried to become Flagellant. Interesting take. Yeah, the, the Blight is definitely like... Um, WhatsApp Flagellant. <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to see. I mean, it could be a new character. It could be could be an enemy it could be i don't know what it is right it's just interesting to see it's cool it's cool to see them doing something like that i'm glad that they gave us a, a little bit of a teaser hey candy how you doing they emptied their larders really cool teaser as the world began to so excited to see what it is yeah it's interesting that they use the 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 flagellants quote um which is like you know Embrace the blood, blah, 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 or whatever it is. They just switched out for Blight. Mind I'm adding character shrine appearances as skin as additional items you can... They've already confirmed that they're going to do that. Chris, they, they've already said that skin... The, the shrine skins will be added as skins, but not until after 1.0. But it will be coming. So... They've also said the weapon skins are going to be a thing. They said that in the Q&A. Um, there's power in the blood for those of the fortitude. Yeah, I said they switched it to blight, right? It's power in the... There's power in the blight. Doesn't sound as good, but I mean, it, you know. So that makes me think... The loathing I mean, they're, def they're, they're definitely trying to confuse people, I think, so... It'll be interesting to see what it turns out to be at the end of the day. Leper King skin would be dope. Yeah, it'd be cool to have them, like, all in their original, like, shrine skins. Since his blood is blighted. Yeah, I mean, that's the reason I think those two... Are... Some people are even saying Crusader because there's, like, in his comic, there's, like, one scene where he has a spiked collar. Or a spiked... Not a spiked collar. Spiked, uh, like, wristband in one in his comic. And people are like, oh, my God, it's probably the Crusader. I'm like, oh, my God, that's a bit of a stretch. Cl Flag is collecting the infinity dots. Yeah, he's just collecting all of them. Every dot that you can get. That would be something. The Crusader cope is real. A lot of people are coping for the Crusader. I don't blame them. We're going to skip the creature den. We're not really in a good position to be taking on a creature. Oh, I should probably switch out um, tracking shot for PBS. Fight so that others... May flee. I will hold out hope. It's a good thing to hold out for. Oh, okay. Damn. Urgent repair fight early on. Very well. Oh, that's unfortunate. Ooh, man, that's going to be rough. Uh, a bomb multi-classing would be the coolest shit ever. Old character, new hero. Be an interesting tabby. I'm pretty sure it's not a new hero. I think in one of their Q&As, Chris was saying that, like, they want to do new heroes and they're planning on it, but, like, for DLC, but they just don't have the time right now. Um, all right. Ooh, this is going to be rough. Uh, so this is Antiquarian very early on. One of my favorite barks in the whole game. I'm a doctor, not a Wainwright. Flag could have whatever a bomb had. That that'd be an interesting take. Like cursed, cursed with whatever the, his uh, his curse was, or is. All right, let's get repost going. Okay, he's dead. So that's great for us. It's an unfortunate amount of dodge. Urgent repair fights are much bigger concern when you only have starter. Oh, yeah. They are definitely way more concerning this early. I'm doing that to peel off the dodge there. Man, already fairly stressed here. Remember, every bit of stress and whatnot, like, this early on, it, it, it pans out very big. Like... Oh... Like, crits are not something we want to see. All right. We're going to start using Laudan. We have a good amount of it. God, the sound effects for that are so good. All right. Repair. 
Um, you know what? We have this. Let's use it. And let's go for Noxious Blast. Always good to use your combat items. There's not much point in hoarding them if you're going to die because you do it, you know? Like, right now, we need we need to be taking this fight down as quickly as possible. Anti is not a fight that we want lingering. Especially when she can do AoE Blights. Which is super convenient for us. Alright, we're gonna go for Flashing Daggers here. Just because it's gonna kill one and a pull off a talk. token on the other. A um, I can heal all these, these guys, but it's not gonna do much for me. Let's go for Blinding Gas. Uh, no, the left behind one is only for wheels. Um, so you'll notice that the... Oh god, we are feeling rough. That front mortar was bad. Um, so you'll see that uh, whoever gets... Because we lost all of our armor, the modifier here is that whoever gets the repair token also gets a vulnerable token. That's what the armor one does. And then the wheels one, when you're out of wheels, will give you um, the exclamation point looking... Uh, the don't leave me one and that will uh basically it's basically like horror uh i mean it can be vulnerable like vulnerable is pretty rough for us right now for sure um like we uh, we don't have the health right now to be playing around with with vulnerable Just gonna keep using the laudanum. We really don't want to keep our stress up right now. I know that's not doing much for us, but it's doing something. It's peeling off tokens. Though, we are kind of just letting them pile up right now. Yeah, Blight will be good for us. An unavoidable end. Man, as a new player, this fight would be brutal. Hey, Burger, how's it going? Why a new profile? Uh, just trying to kind of mentally get ready for um, the game launch because we're going to be doing a new profile run when the game comes out. So I kind of wanted to just just start now. The problem is that even by herself, she's really strong. Like that's our first death door. That ain't good. Like, she, she has three dodge plus, though, and there goes, uh, my healer cannot do anything. So that's very helpful. Um... No, not great. Please, please, please don't. Okay. God damn it, our healer rolled again. Ah. I don't have any way of I don't have any way of healing him. So if she decides to stab him, like we're we're feeling rough. I'm gonna see if I can daze her at least. Okay, we got the daze, which is good. There's no dot on him, so Um that'll at least help her go last. Which is good. Okay. Heal. The path of exculpation need not be a lonely one. Okay, that daze came in clutch. Dismiss Shrine, then rushing PD Shrines for uh, Indiscriminate Science. Yeah. We already got PBS, so we're feeling okay there. Lady, I just need you to remove yourself from existence pretty quick here. God damn it. Used a lot of laudanum on this fight. Oh my goodness. That was rough. And we don't even get any loot from this. Like all that for zero loot. That would definitely be uh, a run a run ender for new players. I mean, it's almost a run ender for me. And I'm not a new player. 
All right. Come through in this one. Also, no anti trinket. Yeah, no, no trinkets from uh, repair fights. Repair fights are punishment fights, so you don't get any items from them. DD2 after the BR streams. Yeah, I need to do more BR, but I'm I'm not really feeling it right now. Like I'm I'm in a DD DD2 mood. Between this and playtesting, I've been really enjoying playing this a lot. Um, fight, fight. You know, we should probably not take the fight. Honestly, we're not in great condition. Losing money sucks, though. But this fight could be... Can I see the map? You know what? We're not going to take the fight. We've got we've got the, the cultist fight coming up right after this. So we're going to want to try to get some heals here. At the end of the day, surviving is more important than getting items, which sucks, but it is what it is. Because three fights in a row is a lot worse than two fights in a row. Yeah, the 50-50 the split sucks. Feels rough because it's just like, ah, like I just, yeah. It's one of the RNG elements in the game currently that just don't, doesn't allow you much uh, leeway. Ow! Dodge it? Damn it. Oh well. Post is good. This quickly. Good crit. This wound at least has been tended to. Incremental. But deadly Thank God for block tokens. Knew that was gonna happen, but it was good to get rid of the repost. Had to be gotten rid of somehow. Damn, that's unfortunate. I hate that they can do back-to-back -back watchdog. That's always felt a little weird to me. Like, basically, if there's two of them, they can just kind of, like, never stop. Let's get our torchlight back up. All right. Cleared with impunity. They could like chain watchdog like that. Yeah, it's just kind of. It just feels kind of weird when it's like back, back and forth like that. Abandoned or forgotten. Yo, but hey, what up, man? How you doing? Good to see you, bud. I don't even. I love the sounds because I don't even have to look at chat. I just know when my very important people are here. How is it? It's going well. Going well. We're doing a fresh profile run right now. And uh, we haven't died yet. This uh, this could be a, a bit of an issue, this fight. We shall see. Everybody's open. Sorry about prices. Did they, Em? I did not see that. Where did they post that? Um... I didn't see it. Is it in the Discord? Sorry. Just read and catch up on something. Game news? Oh. I did not see it. Oh, it's because I was uh, too busy looking at the new teaser. That's why. Yeah, that, that was from like four days ago, the, uh, the survey, right? 
Your your permit? Oh, you mean your um your sub? Looks like it did. Tiny dancer, please. Got gotcha, you, Bate. Oh, the fishing? Uh, they only last for like an hour. The like... The... Yeah. Da -da. Cooperation is the key. The uh, like the boon if you get it. Like yeah, you have to you have to get it again. Go, oh, good resist. That was lucky. That was very lucky. Didn't resist the bleed though. Fifty five percent chance by the way. God damn it, game. All right. Excellent work. Okay, as long as he doesn't do flesh weaving, let's say, then he's dead. Um, I'll be fine. Well, I can't hit back there anyway, so let's go for the heal. I forget that I don't have a uh, blight grenade or a plague grenade. Has been tended to. Good resists. Throw for content? Absolutely not. I'm already gonna throw anyway. I don't need to throw for content. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Throw yourself you for content in the D. I was about to say, if you come over here, maybe you know. We are resisting a lot of these bleeds, which is which is really good. An opportunity squandered. Ah, damn it. Come out anytime soon on scheduled into June. Ew. Rough. Is this the rampart? It is candy, yeah. I think right now damage is our primary concern. Miss. Damn it. Acclimating the mouse. Yeah, still acclimating, but definitely feeling much better about it. Definitely have more energy at the end of the day now than I than I was having. Oh, this is a tough fight, man. Malaise. Measured and steady. Yeah, that bleed's gonna fuck us up. This could be game over. Good miss. Okay, Plague Doctor is going first, which is great. Uh, this will do 10 damage and give us repose, which is good. Oh, I almost misclicked there. Okay, Commune is actually good here. That gives us another turn to kind of play with. Even if it does Flesh Weaving, we should be fine. Perhaps. Good blind. Hopefully that. Yep. Great. Good stuff. Death store characters they just go last. Not so. Not death. I mean, maybe. I think um, you already get a speed debuff on it, right? It's just nothing crazy. Um, sometimes it's just the way it is with it, though. You just kind of have to like. Just is. Random speed change, like feel your adrenaline rush and go fast as well. Ah, uh, that could work. I can see that working. Was hoping that would uh would daze. I mean, minus three speed is pretty is pretty strong, like as far as like speed debuffs go. Um, that is that isn't a joke. Hey, Jen, how you doing? Good to see ya. Always good to have you here. All right, let's go ahead and start healing up. 
Uh, yep. Whack a mole. Please die. Thank you. Of course it got stealthed. It's gonna Azo again, which is unfortunate, but it's a lot of stress, but it is what it is. Scavenge what you can. Oh wow. And be off once more. Interesting trinket to find early on. Speaking of game mechanics, how you know how Daze converts to stun when double applied. Do you think such a mechanic could work for other tokens or unnecessary? I don't know what other tokens it would work on. I guess like you could talk about like double dodge and stuff like that. But in all honesty, I would rather have two 50% dodges than them turn into one 75% dodge. Like statistically speaking, that's better than like you're actually losing out the other way around. I, th I think it would just wouldn't add anything necessary. Wounding words, yeah. Yeah, it can probably recover at the end. We would come here and nocturnal swine sight, double nocturnal. Okay. Think ah, we got the roaring rest. hearth. Very good. Very very good. All right, let's think our think of our Rain, route here. Fire and rot. Um. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Probably gonna go for the sluice. I mean, this is pretty good, but I, if we got thick mud over here, I'd be happy. But you know. Unmapped. Unexplored. All right. A risky proposition. Let's take a look at our in items and see what we've got. Um, oh, we don't have much or anything. Of course. Each Fresh profile vibes. New variable in the equation of your sluice juice. The sluiciest, juiciest, juicest sluice in that you could juice your juice sluice with. Um, what did he say? Something to ease the rigors of the road. be like three strengths converting to a crit but yeah at that point like yeah at that point you've spent so much time getting three strengths it would just um it just it just wouldn't like work i don't think i don't think you get the value out of it that oh yeah she won't eat fucking god damn it really ouch that fucking hurts learn what can be taught that you may stand just a little taller at the end. Yeah, that's a really rough one to get. That's uh, that's not a good one. Get yeah, corresponding mini. Uh, I don't know. I I think it, I think that kind of stuff. I think it lends itself to just becoming bloated. I think it just ends up becoming like too many mechanics. Like every it, every mechanic needs like a sub mechanic, and then eventually it just turns into this spiraling mess of like it takes away the simplicity. Like the token system is good because it's simple, and we start adding complexity to it like that. It like the days one at least like thematically makes sense, but I think anything else, I think you're just going too far uh, into the territory. What are our relationships like as well? Okay. Indeed it ever did. We should be fine. In fact, we'll probably have all positive relationships, or at least near all positive relationships. Um, the question is, do we want uh, Dark Impulse, then, or do we want uh, Wounding Words on anybody? Minus 33% max health is really rough, but 50% additional damage, man. Like, oh, man. That's pretty juicy. That's pretty juicy. They convert into a worship token. Yeah, that, what would you do with a worship token? I'd be interested to see what the what the what you what we would worship. Good highwayman best to get crit repro Yeah, I mean, highwaymen would be the only one that, that would be able to get enough. Your heroes become cultists in the game. <laughs> yeah, they become cultists. Uh, the good thing about low level stuff is that every positive relationship we have will guarantee that it, like, pretty much. 
Except for on the high woman. The high woman's the only one who could probably get it because he has an additional move. But it would guarantee that the move is selected. Tread carefully and quickly. This is swine country. You hear that? It's swine country. All right, early swine is or early sluice is definitely a risk, but stumbling and grasping. We'll be fine. Shadows we got this. What they once were. We might get some good trinkets from this, so who knows? I actually don't know. I don't know what trinkets are like available for me this early on. I have a would you rather. All right, let's hear it. Ah, that was supposed to crit. Cook some bacon, smoke it. Ooh, bacon, 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 bacon. Don't clip that. Never clip that. Get our stress down. Dodge it. You bad, bad man. Oh well. Would you rather have a well-paying job scaring kids at events, but it'd be entirely unknown, or be well-known for scaring kids in a movie, but have no economic game? I would rather have a well-paying job scaring kids at events. Oh, yeah. Abandoned or forgotten. Uh... Um, one of the jobs I wanted the most when I was younger was to be one of the scarers at um, Six Flags during the uh, the Fright Fest. Like, I fucking wanted that job. I thought that shit would have been the coolest thing. I didn't end up getting that job, unfortunately. What, I, what job I did end up getting at Six Flags, though, uh, was a... Um, what do they call it? Like a retention specialist or security retention specialist i don't know my job was to go to the stores and steal shit and that was pretty cool i was supposed to go around and uh yeah i'd go to like the stores and like i would like you know steal stuff and they'd see if they see if i got caught um like doctor okay We're going to assume that this is doesn't mean anything bad. I'm, I'm putting I'm 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 putting my faith in you. Doesn't fit. Is there space here? It means poison girl. Ah. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, it does not fit. Um. Grave Robber would be better if her combo effect was a debuff that increased the chance of receiving crits from attacks. Uh, I don't know. I feel like it would equal out. Um, is there something else you'd like, Tilapia? Because uh, it doesn't fit. It lit literally one like one space off. <laughs> Just Julia, I guess, then sorry. I tried, all right. But yeah, that was a really fun job. I had to like, I had to like show up. Um, I had to show up like and go through like a different entrance. Like I had to like park in a different parking lot. Um, I couldn't tell anybody I worked at Six Flags. I had to, and I was young. Like I was, I don't know, 17, 17, 18. Um, I couldn't post it anywhere. And uh, yeah, it's just like my last relationship. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool.
And uh, yeah, basically I would just go through and steal stuff and then I would like report what I could get away with. And then I, I mean, like I never got caught. <laughs> um, but they weren't really supposed to like do anything. They were just supposed to kind of report me. And then like security knew who I was, like obviously. So then like if I would get like escorted off or whatever, like, you know, I think it was like once or twice where somebody like asked me to leave. Um, but like that was it really. It was a very interesting job to say the least. There we go. That's what we like to see. That was a good call. That actually worked out in my favor. Very nice. Good job. Some corpse clear would be great right about now. Sounds like you're feeling better. I am feeling better. Yeah, I uh, I was only really sick for like a day. I got really lucky. I felt really crappy for that day, but like I didn't really I didn't really get too many crazy symptoms or anything like that. Down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. The loathing abates. All right, not bad. This team is doing well. We're doing well right now. No mastery points or anything. We're hoping to get some good trinkets from this again. I'm not sure which trinkets are like unlocked or this. I don't know the sluice trinkets. I don't think so. I don't think there's any trinkets that are really unlocked yet. I don't think sluice trinkets. I think you have to unlock them at the altar first, right? Yeah, pretty sure you do. So we may be doing this for no reason other than just a little bit of extra money, but that's never a bad thing per se. This is annoying to run into again. Um, I'm going to ounce here. In crisis, we can Hope we hit. Okay. Upon each other. Just peeling off tokens. Thankfully, these guys don't generate more dodge, so. Which is good. So, if only, only two of them can be scattered at a time, so we don't have to worry about any of them. Yeah, Why go follow me in places. Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Ah! Oh. I've had a very runny nose, I will say. That's been that's been my thing, is just runny nose nonstop. The most recent corridor crew, but I don't know what corridor crew even is. So my answer to that is uh, undeniably no. Ow. Double ow. Since they started super liminal advertising, they went from 30% up to 80% subscribe for YouTube videos. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, like, yeah, I mean, asking people is just like the best way. It always has been the best way to like get follows and stuff. Like, hey, like if you're hanging out in chat and you know, you're not following, you like Darkest Dungeon and Darkest Dungeon too, you should probably just follow because like, that's what I play. And if you don't follow, you're a bad person. See, now, now I have to hope that somebody follows to make me look like I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Otherwise, I just look like an idiot. And see, nobody's probably going to follow, and it's just going to make me look like an idiot. They falter, so press your advance. <laughs> you big dum-dum. Yeah, I mean, calls to action have always been, like, the most effective way of getting people to subscribe. Because a lot of people, or like, you know, follow or do whatever it is you want them to do. A lot of people, like, 
generally are okay with or want to do those things, but they forget. Like, I, there's so many times I watch a video and I just, like, literally am not thinking and then, like, be like, oh, don't forget to subscribe. Be like, oh, shit. Like, this is, yeah, I was going to forget. And now I won't. I did fix the things, though. I fixed those things. See? Like, look, it works now. Hey, by the way, everybody, just so you know, we are always and well, we are always and always. We're always raising money for the Wounded Warrior Project, which is an amazing cause that helps veterans in the United States of America, both with their mental and physical disabilities received during their time in service. It's a cause that's near and dear to my heart. So there's some information on it. We've raised two hundred dollars this year so far, which is, you know, a good amount of money. So I appreciate all the support. We've raised over six and a half thousand dollars since we started raising money for WWP. Uh, so crazy cool support. Oh, by the way, I've got some swag coming over here from WWP that I'm going to be able to give away soon. So um, I will be doing some giveaways for some cool swag if you all like swag. Who doesn't like swag, you know? Collaboration confers advantage. I mean, that ounce of prevention saved me a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Yeah, double resist on the bleed there, which is great. Wow, they both resisted the blind. That's unfortunate. Get a heal out of this, though. God, that's a waste of a crit token, huh? All marks of the unprepared. But we are resisting the bleeds, which is really good, so. That's gonna hurt back here, though. Like, a lot. Like, big, big mega ouchies. Um, that's dead next turn, though. I hate that it can do first trumpet more than once. Oh, I forget that it cures dots on her as well. I always forget that. Like, that's a really interesting thing, but it does, it does cure her own dots. Um, so it's actually, it's super effective for that kind of situation. We go dead. A simple variable, easily resolved. Okay, thankfully that'll make her hit that store again. So, not super worried about that. Oh, good hit. Hopefully we can get the kill here. Very nice. Calculation, perhaps. It's not all right. Um, we'll heal him. She can't heal herself right now, so just go for that. A righteous action. A righteous action. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Oh my god. Alright. Uh, we're not going to take Misstep. Um, but we can take this Dark Impulse. Misstep is not... We're not really... We're not really tanking, like, properly right now. Well, you know, we'll take it. But, like, we're not going to use it, most likely. Unless we can somehow get a bunch of unlocks on the Man-Arms to make him an effective tank that way. 
Uh, event peppered across streams all at once. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I'll have to figure out exactly how I want to do it. Um, I only have a few items to give away. And, uh, and whatnot. So it might be that we'll, we we'll might make a kind of a, an event out of it. Um, or something and see how people feel and kind of go from there. I don't know. Figure it out. Removing the dodge is just always a good option if we can. Heal tokens where you can. It's very helpful. We're going to go with Defender here. Just because our Plague Doctor is not feeling great. And I really don't want her getting just chopped down. Plus the block tokens are nice. So. Um, stress for okay. Let's get Duelist Advance going. Repost is just very powerful. And we'll just get more Blight. Get this big guy out of the way. Eight damage. He's feeling it now. Good dodge, thank you. Unfortunate crit. But that's okay. Nothing we can't deal with. Alright, I'm gonna start getting some heals going. Still guarded there, so that's good. Four to six, or two to five with two blights. Uh, we'll take the four to six. All right. Don't know if that was really the better option, but it was a good option. So, get stress down here. Um, no, we should go for heals while we can. Good crit, very nice. All right, that put us back in a decent spot. We can do flashing daggers here to just at least hit through the stealth, which is nice. And unfortunately, don't have take aim anymore, so I think take aim goes through stealth, right? I don't use the ability very often, so I honestly can't fucking remember. Please don't disease. God, you fucking asshole. Oh. <laughs> Man, last hit, too. Got typhoid. Got typhoid and dysentery. Is this the Oregon Trail? Uh, if flame is greater than 50, start. You know what? It's not the worst thing in the world, right? The 1% health thing is like, whatever. Um, but the big thing is that he can remove the blind at the combat start with take aim. Like, so it's, it could be worse. Okay, sickly on you is whatever. You already have a disease. I'm not worried about it. Other early fragments get though. So that's always a good, a good find early on. I think we have one more probably road fight and then we're up at the end. Hopefully we just run into the, the good doctor in and then we just don't have to worry about diseases. I mean, that was an okay sluice. It wasn't great. I don't know really if, if sluice is a good idea to take early on because you don't have access to the trinkets that really make it beneficial. Um... Where a little light still gathers. Yeah, we you still get the chance of getting all the negative stuff that comes with it, so. Um Alright. The provinces and cantribs of our land. Crumbling and on Avoid the watchtower. We will go this way. I know we want candles, like, but hey. I've also gotta not do the same region over and over again, so. Masteries and gold. Eh, I mean, we didn't. You don't really get many masteries from it, right? We got one from that, one and we took a bunch of fights. Mastery so fights don't spawn it. very heavily there, or mastery points. And then, as far as gold goes, I mean, we didn't get much, you know. So, is it worth it? I mean, it, it could be. I don't know if it is though. Planning and mindfulness, as vital to survival as um, steel. Let's see what we got going on here. 
Let's take a look at our relationships. So anybody we really need to pull out of the ditch? That one. Unfortunately, that we can't get that one out, but we can get Barristan and Batay out of their out of their pit Precious hole. Relics remind us of a time before the end. Ooh, Sanguine. Jeez, that's lucky. All right. Uh, yeah, that gets you out of the pit. Unfortunately, this still has a pretty high chance for Julian and Batay to dislike one another. I don't know if we have anything else that'll help them. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Probably can get, uh, the calming incense. I'm keeping the clarifying poultice right now, because it's very useful. You calling me tense? Yes, I am. All right. Think we're all set. Let's go. I think this is a negative one, right? Yeah. Fortunately. Resentment. The slowest and deadliest yeah. poison of them all. Weakness is not the not the end all be all. Um, okay. The Tangle! War. Rewards. What is it? Avoid the Watchtower for two Mastery Points? Fine by me. We got a decent scout there anyway. No, we did We got a terrible scout. Excuse me for yawning so much there, but there is a hospital to the left, so that's the way we're gonna go. Um, maybe not. Can we still make it to the hospital? We can't. That's fucking annoying. Alright. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road. Oh, it's a hero shrine. That's good. Dangerous. Yeah, Plague Doctor might be good to start unlocking. They're all very good to start unlocking, like... Who will face the half-remembered horrors of their past? We'll do Plague Doctor. I really want to get like plague grenade. Plague doctor. Chapter one. The good the student. Brilliant and bold. Her unconventional theories created nothing short of a scandal in her fourth year. The mocking whispers and scornful glares of her peers and professors had an ironically invigorating effect upon her extracurricular experiments the mysteries of the human body of life and death itself hovered just beyond her scalpel's reach if only she could acquire a corpse of sufficient freshness if only sufficient freshness i like my corpse sufficiently fresh thank you boldening vapors okay not bad. It's not a great one, but yeah, it's probably better than incision right now. All right, um, left. Going on a trip in our favorite stage coach. PD emboldens me. Ooh, ooh. ooh. Wheels is you, coach limping. Be prudent. I will not be prudent. Oh my god, I can't stop yawning. <sighs> oh, hi, Shubes. Hi. What's up? Oh god, I had ice cream. Oh, yeah, you do have ice cream. I think you have two of them in there. No. One. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, it says Shelby. It is a Shelby. All right, cultist fight is not necessarily what I'm looking to to tangle with right now. The fuck is that? What the fuck? 
When do you find the time to add these? Oh, that was just a natural crit. That's fun. That's fun for the whole family. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use that. And then we'll just do this. Getting them to that score is very strong. What's your favorite ooh? Yeah, shall we? What's your favorite ooh of all the oohs? The googly. Wow, how did that bleed? Wow, that's really unlucky. Excellent work. Good crit. I'd have to go with Ooh Hyper. He's very hype. He is the most hype. He's as hype as they can get. Remove that bleeding because it is going to cause him stress. I say she now has double horror. My poor grave robber. The pulse slow. I don't have that one apparently. He returns. Damn it. I love that he can reach that far back. Like hitting rank three from rank one is so good. That's one of his like best things that he can do. A miscalculation, perhaps. Stupid baby. Had a lot of cultist fights. Greater threats await those who dare. Nope, I'm not taking it. I've got too much stuff that's uh, reducing my health right now. Yeah, he's just losing losing health at combat start every time. Of course, they all want to not go to the hospital. Do I have money for the hospital? I don't. So this was actually a dumb idea. Yo, Stabber, how's it going? It's going well. How about yourself? Sorry for my voice cracking there. Got my facts at hand? I don't actually. Um, where are my facts? There we go. Uh, I don't have the money to do anything with this, so that sucks. Um, shit, I didn't really think about that. Obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have come here. I would have gone the other way. Oh, well. All right. Um, if we go left, we get an urgent repair fight, which we definitely don't want. So let's go right. We have to go through the lair. I don't think we will be taking on the lair boss, though. I'll wait a moment. Doesn't wait. Fun fact 209. Is that what fun fact we're on? All right. Fun fact 209 is... The spiked dog collar was invented by ancient Greeks to perfect dogs from wolf attacks. Seems legit. Wouldn't know if I call that a fun fact, but it's a fact. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, I don't know who's fact checking these facts, you know. An unexpected find. This is really good. Mineral spring water is a great find. Great find for us. The loathing howls. Ugh. 
The generals keep... Yeah, we're not fighting the general. We don't need a lair fight. Uh, we don't need a lair boss or a lair trophy for this final fight, so... And his loyal lumbering guard. Writes these facts and themselves, I'm having fun. I have no idea. Whoever wrote this book, but I don't think there's actually an author on it. No, Michael Parr. I, excuse me, Michael Parr says that these are fun facts, I suppose. Okay, Michael, if you say so, if you insist, I'll believe you. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. In Michael we trust, indeed. Thank goodness of law tokens. Oh, Sanguine coming in clutch there. Yes, indubitably. Well, quite excellent. Yes. Stash! Yeah, get dodged on, nerd. A breakthrough. God damn. That's what I like to see. Defensive formations. Um, I can't hit that, so I get to do this. Malaise. Measured and steady. 208 is, at birth, a baby panda is smaller than a mouse? I don't, I don't know that. A simple variable, easily resolved. This is a tedious fight with very little back row damage. That sounds like bullshit. Somebody can look it up, I suppose. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Instead, but I love the idle animation when the drummer lifts his. Yeah, he's like, what? what's going on? Everybody good out there? <laughs> I'm smaller than a panda, but I'm definitely bigger than a mouse. That is an astute observation, Stabber. All right. Yeah, that fight was tedious, but uh, I mean, whatever. Abandoned or forgotten. It, it is, is ours, ours now. now. Oh, shit. Okay, the loathing went to max. Cool. Oh, boy, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, boy. Travel without proper reconnaissance. A hasty and reckless thing, indeed. Yo, oh, loud and boring. How you doing, man? Ah! How's it going, man? I'm here to give knowledge, too. I appreciate the, the knowledge giving. It's much appreciated. We reasoned that the mind must be dissected if it is to be understood. Will we understand it? Nope, we just got squeamish. And anatomical map, which is probably okay. Sure. I mean, it's early on. We'll take what we can get at this point. We understand the body more than the mind now. I need to get some stress down. That's what I need to do. This would be a good fight to do it on, unless it's a ghoul. Oh, I saw that big silhouette and I was like, oh boy, what did I say that for? Okay. Um. Okay. 
Okay. If you two are bigger than a mouse, call me. A jacket. <laughs> call me at this number. Alright. Stress down. Good, good. Excellent. Great. Great. Dead. Cool. Anatomical map already giving one crit token immediately. Um, went through all of the possible tokens it could do, and it went with that one. And also 10% chance. So that's cool. Get rid of the horror. Fun fact number 207. A single strand of spaghetti is known as a spaghetto. I'm... I don't know if that's true. It feels like it shouldn't be true. It feels like a violation of some sort of law. A single graffiti is a graffito? Is that actually true? Is this, is this factual information that you're giving me? Excellent work. I expect who hyper you just like message Furno out of the blue and like make me this. This is another issue with those trinkets that add negative tokens to enemies is that they can add taunt to an undesired enemy. Yes, it is. It's not a great trinket. The only reason I'm taking it is because it's it's just something that I don't you know, I don't have anything else really right now. A slow dissection. An unavoidable aim. Yeah, it's not a great trinket. The other thing is that um, they, their debuff resist can allow them to resist the debuffs that they get, but there's no, they, they won't resist the positive ones, so. Seething Psy be tamed into a dragon maid? I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think you would want it as a dragon maid. I feel like even if it was cleaning up your house, it would just, um, it would just make everything smell smoky. You know, and gross, because it's like, it's smoker's lungs. Do you think the seething butt be tamed into a dragon butt? Yes, absolutely. Positive token resistance sounds really weird. It, yeah, I mean, it doesn't make sense that that will never be a thing for obvious reasons, because how bad would that be if you could resist positive tokens? But in the case of anatomical map, anatomical map used to be great. In the OG days, it was a 12% crit chance, just base 12% crit. It was amazing. But they got rid of that because it was too good. Or some shit. Uh, yeah, we'll take the armor token. The armor and the, the plus 30 torch will be nice. No one would dare rob your house? I think the gun in my house would probably be the main deterrent for robbing my house right now. So. Tag Chris when you make that short. <laughs> Chris, Chris watches a lot of my content. Not my farts. Yeah. Not my farts. Your last fact of the day. Fun fact number 206. Canadians say sorry so much that in 2009 they passed a law declaring that an apology couldn't be used in court as an admission of guilt. It's probably a pretty decent law to have. What about locking your house to the shackles of denial? Uh, that, could, that could work. Shelby's opinion on my gaseous qualities. I, I have quite a... Like, I'm a gassy guy, all right? Let's just, let's just say it as it is. One oh, of my house is the lack of stuff to steal. That is, that is a good deterrent to have. That's like the best one, really. If you don't have anything to steal, people are less likely to steal anything. Especially because there's nothing to steal. Ah, there it is. Again, anatomical map. Really doing the Lord's work here. Thank you. I love the sound that the axe makes when it fails or misses. It's got this, like, reverb noise that goes. It's, it's just very good. So your new job? I did stab her. I did. I've been, uh, this will be my third week now. 
this Monday, this Monday will be my third week on it. Do 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 All right, goodbye, anatomical map. It was nice. Already given the enemy two crit tokens. Uh, yeah, you're going away. You're going away for a long time. Really satisfying to listen to. Usually the blade of weapons, yeah. I mean, it's like subtle detail, you know? Like, they didn't really need to add, like, a miss Jackets sound. They could have just... Or decided to say this stupid thing. Oh, wow. How's it going? Are it sounded you so it? sarcastic. Oh, wow. How's it going? Are you enjoying it? Uh, yeah, no, I'm really enjoying it. The, j the job is much, 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 much better for me. Um... Yeah, mentally I'm way better. I'm physically very tired because I work way more hours now and I work um, there. I'm, you know, I have to get up at, you know early in the morning and I have to go to work, whereas before I was working from home. But mentally I'm way better than I was, so. I'm blinding, the, blinding gas these guys. Could the yeah, this, the text-to-speech really, really just said that. Should probably pay attention to the fact that I'm starting with blind every time because of the torchlight and I'm, I was not paying attention there. Take aim would have been a great start, but I decided, alas, no take aim. I'm really trying to move this guy and get one of these guys out of position. Didn't even mean to make text to speech. Well, you sure did. Good resist on the. Well, I say good resist. He's got 80% bleed resist, so. Really not that great. Okay, that gets one out of position. That's nice. Get this going for the repost. Should be good against this guy. And then we'll start working on him in the back. Okay. Or not, I suppose. Um. Yeah. Great dodge. This is gonna hurt whoever he hits. Great crit. Bolster to get that uh ass hat all in a day all in a day's work. Yeah. Now new new job is doing really well. I'm getting my energy levels back up. Like the last two weeks I like wasn't even able to uh, like attempt streaming really because I was just like Oh man, I was just so tired. Um and now I'm feeling pretty good, so that's good. Yeah, he really likes to fling his dagger around. He's probably compensating for something. Persistence will overcome even the I mean the the Highwayman's like knife is is big. Like look at the size compare you can't really see it, but like the size between this and the great like these are these are just like regular knives. This is a fucking full-on dagger, dude. Like this thing is, I think will fuck you up. Compensating for the accidentally unloading like 15 shots into the stagecoach. Yeah, they accidentally murdered that child. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying it. Thank you. I appreciate that. Obligatory. That's not a knife. That's a spoon. Oh, I see you've played knifey spoony before. Does it spin his gun too? Does he not in any of his animations? I don't know. He might. He probably does. Probably spins it in there. One of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons, that reference. Oh, I see you've played Knifey Spoonie before. Some where Bart prank calls uh, Australia and ends up like with a huge charge and they have to go to Australia. That's great.
fire, deacon fire. I should probably actually be thinking about this a little bit. All right. Priority? Probably this guy. The blind here will be good. Okay, we got the blind on the big guy. That's good. Thankfully, we probably... Okay, we double resisted, which is very nice. Damn, I was hoping that would miss. Uh, the stress here is, is crazy. Okay, good stuff. Uh, I'm going to defend her here. Mostly for the deacons. That way the deacon will try to hit, you know, there. Bone weaving. Um, okay. This is where we start using that now. I don't have any way of hitting her. Dead. Dead. Okay. Um, let's just go for the heal. Good bleed resist. God damn. That was great. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get one worship off, but he won't get the other one. Nice. Good hit. I think they're all a top tier physical shape, considering the fact they're all fucking running for their lives non stop. Damn. That one hit, unfortunately. Um, nothing we can't deal with, though. I would really rather avoid him get exaltation. If we can avoid that. Damn. If there hadn't been weakness there, we would have actually been able to... Well, we should be okay here. As long as... As long as she dies here. Steady yourself. All right. We avoided the uh, the exaltation there, which is great. Good crit. Nice. She does have like a really hunched stance, though, right? Just stands weird. And I hope that he dies. Damn it. Sanguine doing the Lord's work here. All right, everybody's below stress threshold. There we go. You know, not bad for the base team so far. I think we're doing well. Greater threats await those who dare. Greater sharpness charm. Hmm. I don't know, man. This might be kind of weird, but I think this is actually a good call. Thanks for the lurk, Willie. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, mate. Hope things are going good for you, buddy. Always get to see your beautiful face.
All right. Made it to the final region. And nice. This goes to show you can get pretty far with the base team. It's tough, but you definitely can do it. Lower your guard. Daredevil. Okay, pyrophobic. Uh, tracker is fine. Hard skinned is good. Um, uh, anemic. Oh, you messed Yo, up. Oh, Bren, <laughs> thank you very much for that subscription. Using your Prime sub, too. Thank you very much for giving me Daddy Bezos' money. I appreciate you. Uh, anemic. Bloodthirsty on Dismas. Fisher Folk Fury. Okay, this isn't terrible. Thank you very much for that sub, Bren. I hope you're doing well, bud. Okay. Lazy is annoying. Lazy Eye doesn't do much for us. Anemic is definitely not great. Fussy Eater is whatever. Pyrophobic is bleh. Listen. Practice. Improve. Improve. Don't tell me how to live my life, Wayne. You're not my real dad. Everywhere in ruin. All right, visit three assistance Everywhere. encounters. Yeah, we can do that. All right, what do we got here? Let's go to here first. Planning and mindfulness. As vital to survival as sharpened steel. Uh, sharpened steel. Something to Already got a bunch of diseases. What's more? Oh. It's fine. She won't eat it. Precious relics but she was not. Nah, I like my dad. The end. I love my current father. He's good. He does. He does his job very well. I wouldn't trade him. Even for Wayne June. I wouldn't trade him. All right, if we're going into the sprawl, let's go ahead and just uh, swap this out, huh? Oop. 80 percent burn resist, baby. He lacks the. My dad has a very cool voice. My dad has a very thick Irish accent. All right. Let's go. Uh, do we think we do I think I can knock out the exemplar with this team? Uh, I think the exemplar might be a pretty hard gate for us to cross. I'm not gonna lie He lacks the elders accent that he does. He does speak fluent Gaelic and pretty fluent Latin though So like I, he could probably pull it off He's a thing for dead languages Behold, the great cities of man. Ruined, Ruined. and a flame. Thank you. So we have to do three plus assistance encounters. So we're going left right off the bat. Oh, that's good. Just stress the whole team out. I do wish that if you had a goal to go that way, that like it had a higher chance of having everybody be like, we should probably go that way because like Ooh, an implication. Favorite, uh, my favorite voice line from the game currently is uh, the tread carefully, this is swine country line. I fucking love that voice line for whatever reason. I love it. Shit. The fiend's strength dwindles. Okay. Okay. Get rid of both of them. We're gonna try to. We can't blind. So. Um, I 
My goal is to try and and oh, okay, we can't actually. Let's get for this. God damn it. Trying to move the cannon forward so it hits less people. Nah. What's going on, Raven? Why is it doing that no data return thing? That's really annoying. How's it going, Raven? Welcome on in. How you doing? Playing some Nova Drift. Ooh, fun. How's your street, man? How you feeling? I know you said you were feeling a bit sick the other day. I hope you're feeling better. Doing good. Better than two days ago? That's good. I'm glad to hear it. Welcome on in, everybody. For those who don't know who I am, my name is British Brat. I am a Darkest Dungeon content creator. Uh, mostly playing Darkest Dungeon 2, but we do play some DD1 here as well and a couple other games every now and again. So welcome on in. Great to have you here. If you're not already following Raven and you're hanging out here and you like Darkest Dungeon, you like games similar, definitely go check out Raven. Very, very fun person. Cool dude. Thanks for the stress heal. I appreciate it. DD2 got a shuffle in the sprawl, throwing the bomb in my face. Ah, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, we're doing a fresh profile right now. So we're in we're in the final region. We've, we've done all right with the, the base team. It's not been too bad. But I, I don't know if we can make it past Exemplar. If I'm going to be honest. Crawled my way to and got the run away and finished the run. Hell yeah. Well, I'm glad you're able to finish the run. It's always a good feeling when you can when you can claw your way back through it. Desperate and wanting. Will you rip off their earnest pleas? I will definitely rip off their earnest pleas. I will take them. There's nothing they can do about it. All right. Got a hoarder coming up. How's our money situation? Not great. Money is hard to come by early on. Got some loathing here. The loathing whispers. The loathing whispers. He struggles to decide what is real, holding back fits of laughter and tears. Yeah, we'll just skip him. Save that money for the inn if we need it. Think carefully. Today's oversight is tomorrow. I'm supposed to be doing assistance encounters. Um, which I guess we can do if we go. If we go left, we get one, two. Watchtower is pretty good for us to get. Don't need the order. It's not fun. I, I had a stagecoach repair as like my second or third fight in this run. It was crazy. We just ran into like three things one after the other. Which this and we ran into an antiquarian. It was like my third fight. I was like, this is a fresh profile with like no unlocks on any of the heroes. But an antiquarian fight and I am down a hero now because it's a repair fight. It was it was not fun. has claimed dominion. Oh, crickety crack in my neck. We must keep moving. All right. Yeah, the one. Yeah, we thankfully we had the vulnerable one, the uh, the armor one, not the the wheels one. The coach is plating but is we're probably gonna have another one soon. Um, I don't know. I'll pay more attention to it a bit. Books. Everybody seems to like books. Cultimaniac, that's fine. Two stresses, whatever. Well, that was really useful. I'm glad that we did that. Very helpful for the team. The lost souls of a dying world. A dying world. Empty of hope and humanity. Oh, 
Posted Twitter for Didi? I sure did. What are your thoughts on it? I saw your comment, I think, uh, at, uh, on it. It's exciting stuff. Can I see how it's gonna look? What do you what do you think it is? Doggo is doing a Borco. What are your thoughts on uh, what it could be? Seen a lot of a lot of varying ideas about it. Probably the abomination. Okay. I think abomination and flag are the two I've seen the most as far as what people think it is. I, I can get both, like, definitely has the kind of decrepit look of the bomb and the blight, obviously. But, like, that that wrist bracer thing, that's pretty reminiscent of the flagellant, so... Um, I don't know. Yeah, I would look up, look up a picture of the flag and, like, um, take a look at his wrist and you'll see he has, like, a really similar wristband. Like, the Abomination has shackles, but it doesn't look the exact same. I mean, obviously, there, you know, could be a mix or something. Maybe they had a baby. That's... I saw... I said that, and then somebody posted on the Reddit, like, the fusion dance from uh, DBZ, and it had, like, the Flagellant and the Abomination doing it. I thought that was pretty funny. Like, uh, that's good. Huh? Oh, is that a blessed ability? I was like, wait, what? Since when does it do that? But yeah, it's blessed. Fusion! Yeah. I thought that was funny. I've actually never really watched DBZ or any of the Dragon Ball series. More than just like bits and pieces, but I at least understand the reference. Ah, this is a good view. Great view, even. The best view, one might say. Maybe these guys give me some armor. Oh, food, stagecoach equipment, which we don't really need. We take that food. That's gonna be slime mold. That's all we have. So. The loathing festers. We go for the cash. The void has rendered reality once. Because we are going for uh the assistance encounter up here. Unhinged by the impending apocalypse, the fanatics burn book and building alike. Book and building alike. It's always it's really cool to see a lot of the like intro stuff again, like the the shrines and the cinematics and stuff that I haven't seen in quite some time. Uh, Laden Lantern is a great find if we were running a flag. A flag. I don't have. We're just talking about flagulent, like flagellant. Like there's not even a flag in the fucking An game. Um, is fucking, <laughs> but yeah, burn hero. Uh, runaway. Jesus Christ. Chaos must be met with unwavering resolve. There, there are flags in the game. Yeah, like right there, banners and stuff. The man arm trick it, yeah, the the banner, yeah. That's that's true, you're right. Alright. Let's -a go. Let's fuck these guys up. I'm actually surprised how decently we've been doing, I'm not gonna lie. I thought we would die a bit before this, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, sorry, I'm sneezing. Well, I'm like itchy nose. Hello. Hey, the Pagan, how's it going? Hello. Want to say thanks for your service? Yo, I appreciate oh, that. Hello. Thank you very much for the support. Welcome on in and thank you for the follow. It's great to have you here. Boom. Hope you're having a great day. What's up? Hey, Pod, how you doing, bud? Welcome on in. What up, what up? Yo, you just locked me in the front. I'm not stuck up here with you. You're stuck up here with me. Can't wait for this game to blow up even harder. One point. I'm so excited for 1.0. Oh. 
Man, I'm... Y'all, y'all don't even know the half of it. <laughs> I wish I could, I wish I could talk more about stuff, but just, just know that I'm very excited for 1.0. It's going to be great. You tease, yeah. Uh, any lost runs yet? No, this is the first one we've had on this profile. Yeah, right? They look similar to what the flag's wearing, but the blight, like, the flag is a bleed character, so I don't know. Uh, will profiles wipe the last few patches? No, they've said that they will not. So you might end up losing, like, your heroes, like, you have memory heroes. You might lose them, I think. Or they said that might happen. I don't know for ex exactly, though, but you, they've said that you won't lose your profile, though. It's a bomb. Honestly, I was hoping they'd tip their hat to Black Reliquary and Admar. I mean, they're not going to do anything. They, they've done a lot of support for Black Reliquary, but I doubt they're going to, beyond, like, helping them get, um... Also, welcome on in, Stuck Up Beach. Besides helping them, like, get, you know, on their own page and support with the modding stuff, I really don't think we're going to see anything more from them. Yeah, there's there's also that, like, the guy in the shrine from the Vestal, right, is like, but is that the flag? He looks a little different than the original flag. I don't know. And he's called the Torturer. He's not called the Flagellant, so I don't know. All the items, that's good. Heck yeah. Have you... Do you think it would be until DD2 has modding support? It'll be a while. Probably It'll probably be like six months, I would say, before they have like official modding support. They're going to be... The dev team is going to be in overdrive um, as far as, uh, you know, just making sure the patches come out. I would say that console support is probably going to come first before modding support, and that's going to be a total other thing. If you got some inside info, I'm a playtester, so I, I do have I do have some inside info, but I obviously can't talk about it. Um, the loathing festers. That's your honest thoughts on the teaser. I I mean yeah I'm I I have honest thoughts about the teaser, but it's a great teaser. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a playtester, so I do have to be kind of careful about what I say about stuff. Obviously, um, we can get rid of a disease. Well, wait, no, we need we need this. We need the assistance of counter. Waiting to get a, a torch. Yo, me too. I really want to get a torch tat. Um, I'm trying to think of something a little bit different because I think I've said quite a few people have gotten torch tats. Not that like that's a bad idea, but um, I mean, I, Darkest Dungeon has been an influence in my life for the longest time. And it's been a huge part of me, my content creation, like getting me into content creation. Um, you know, and now I like I, I yeah, I'm a, I'm a play tester for DD2. But like, I've gotten to work with Red Hook. I've got uh, I've got a signed poster from Chris Barusa, who sent me like a signed poster and a, a note from the whole team. Like, Red Hook has been like incredibly amazing for me and and my endeavors. So, um, yeah. Abandoned or forgotten. Dark times of my life reminded me. Yeah, just keep keep pushing through the hard times. There's always hope. There's always hope. There's always a way out. You can always claw your way out of the even the worst situation. Even when shit hits the fan. Uh, we need to go for the assistance encounter. Pretty sure, right? Oh, we've already done three. Whatever, okay. Let us temper this. My favorite indie games. It took me uh hang on, it took me Oh god. That was a perfect place to stop. Oh god, it's a oh shit. Uh, it took me a very long time to beat DD1. Uh, I probably didn't actually... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, I probably didn't beat DD1 until after I'd put about 600 hours into the game. Uh, well, this sucks. This is really bad. All right. There, there's so much stress. Ninety-one percent DBR, but yeah, that's a nice way to see it. Yeah, definitely, definitely can die to DBR checks like that. Gotta love it. Ugh. I'm gonna cure the horror here because he has the highest stress. I'm going to get the repost going because there's going to be AOE hits. Well, actually, Hal doesn't trigger repost, so it's not really that big a deal, but, you know, still good. Beat the Harvest Child. Lost my uh, mana arms. Had a Grave Robber, Hireman, Plague Doctor. 
I only had the last encounter in Cultus, and I got the mini boss right before my last in. Uh, you're, if you're talking about the exemplar, the exemplar is guaranteed at that at the last in before the last spot, before the before the last region. So you you will always have to fight him. So do keep that in mind. Yeah, and it, he is the gatekeeper. If you get past the exemplar, um, no matter what happens after that, you get to keep all of your candles. So. Um, just keep that in mind. Any tips for him? Uh, yeah, I've got... He's he's actually... Um, he's not easy, but he's one of the few fights that has, like, very, very solid, hard counters. So the biggest thing about the Exemplar is you want to stop him from getting two Worship Tokens, which allows him to do his big attacks, um, his big uh, Exaltation attack. And the easiest ways to do that are... You either thanks for the headpats. You can either kill the the ad, which will be an altar, um, because he'll sacrifice the altar and it will give him a worship token. Um, but that can be a little hard to do. The other one is to stop him from using the ability the fall on anybody who has a combo token. So uh, ways you can do that is you can have items that remove combo. So you can use holy water. Um, you can use abilities like upgraded stand fast or upgraded play out. Um, there's a couple other things that can help get rid of combo as well. Uh, or you can use taunt to force him to hit somebody who doesn't have combo. Um, and as long as he never gets that second worship token, he'll never um, he'll never do his exaltation, and that makes it much easier to deal with him. Blight resist is big. Yep. Uh, yeah, man arms definitely is very trivializing with him, for sure. Um, yeah, there's he's he's hard. He's very hard to deal with, but he does have like very hard counters as well. He's actually one of the most strategic fights in the game where you can actually kind of plan things out, which is why he's actually one of my favorite favorite enemies in the game to fight um, because of that reason. Yeah, blind is also very useful. Um, God damn. Lots of stress. Ah, uh, double skull toss. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's brutal. Yeah, it's a knowledge check. It's um, it's definitely a gut check as well. I mean, it, it's just uh, it does test a lot of your understanding of like the uh, the heroes and how you're gonna use them and stuff. Like, this is the base team right now. I don't know if we're going to be able to beat the Exemplar. It's going to be really tough, but it's definitely doable with this team. Definitely helps having more abilities unlocked, though. So we don't have the best abilities for this. All my characters had positive bond buffs. Um, watching my run crumble made me so disheartened. Yeah, it sucks when you're, like, you're really doing really well and it all falls apart around you. Um, it's definitely the a darkest dungeon moment for sure. DPS check to some extent as well. He will summon, yeah, he will keep summoning people, yeah. Yo, Darktress, how's it doing, man? How's it going? It's def a DD moment of all times. It's def a DD buttment. Yep, indeed it is. Uh, oh yeah, that, if you want to see a DD, well, that's a spoiler, by the way. If you haven't seen the Act 3 boss, you might not want to click that clip. Um, but that that's the darkest dungeon moment of all fucking time. That was fucking that was something something and a half Just chilling for the night. Hell yeah. Well glad to have you here always uh, Welcome to come chill and hang out appreciate the company man Yo bear what's up how you doing Good to see you long time no see how you doing bud? Said long time no see. How you doing, man? I haven't seen your stream account in a while, I should say. Your Twitch account in a while, so. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Oh, this is an exemplar, isn't it? Whoops! Speak of the devil, uh, I did not pay attention to this. All right. 4-4, four, four, it is 4-4. Four, four. You're on, so I wanted to stop and say hi. Well, thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it. Um, uh, I'm not prepared for this fight. This isn't going to go very well. I think we're probably going to die to this, if I'm entirely honest. Oh, yeah, don't pull out the notepad right now. I really didn't prepare well for this fight. I'm just going to hope we can kill it, really. 
I don't think we're going to survive it, but if we can... Well, I don't think all of us are going to survive it. Let me just say that. Where's Buttspot laugh? Is it, Buttspot is, is very delayed. I don't have any abilities that can taunt off combo right now. Um, and I don't have any abilities that will remove combo or any items that will remove combo. So right now, we're at the whim of this. The other thing is that he can't use the fall on anybody who's in rank 4. So if you can lock somebody in rank 4 and get the combo on them, then that can kind of help. But it's, you know, it's a hit or miss. Nice on the mustache cam, by the way. I forgot who wanted me to harass BB during DreamHack, but I just wanted to say I at least bothered him for an hour-ish before it ended. You did you did bother me? Not at all. You didn't bother me at, at all. Oh, he's stealthed! You fucking asshole! Oh, that's so brutal, man. I can't do shit about that. Defender? Yeah, Defender... I guess Defender would have worked there, you're right. Yeah, that's... That's that's bad. That's my call for being bad. I picked on BB for everybody. You did. It's okay. Still love you. I don't have Bello. Yeah, this is this is such a skill check early on. Uh, it's a brutal skill check early on for sure. So he's got his first warship because he sacrificed the altar. So this is the the fall, but he couldn't do it on a combo target because of defenders. So thank you for uh, Beach bringing that up. Give me that that idea. But uh, yeah, definitely don't think we're going to survive this. I'm just going to start putting in damage where I can. I mean, look, he's already back up to like full health. <laughs> 27 damage. Oh, boy. That's a lot of damage, chap. A master stroke. Solidarity may yet arrest this collapse. Gotta watch, yeah, that clip was great. That was, a, that was a great clip. And we got the daze there, which is nice. Okay. I'm not worrying about stress right now. Right now, I just need to focus on getting damage into him while I can. There's no combo up right now, so... Um, Please dodge. Damn it. Okay. Please dodge. Okay, you won't dodge this one. He's dead. Boom. Oh, he's not dead. Surprising, but he will be dead next time. Last night, I started and ended a no healer one on a win. Did you... How did it go? Say you started and ended. Did you, did you survive the run? Back to betting accounts. Email should go after my... Awesome. All right. Well, thank you very much for coming by. I always appreciate it. There's exaltation. So he summons summons his little friend. First meltdown of the run, though. It's not bad. Applications. I I I I got what you were. I got what you were putting down. Well, there goes our healer. She understood death, but could not defy it. Hey, Drip Punch, how's it going? Some resistance helping. Yeah, it has pretty decent blight resist. This just isn't a good. These early teams are are rough in this situation. It's just not a great. Like, uh, it's just not great. It's just we uh, getting more hugs in Dallas. Hell yeah, dude! I'm excited to see you. Like, and then it goes into flesh weaving. He gets two turns. Um, it's just rough. It's gonna counteract to get a little bit. Very lucky that didn't kill. Okay, we got down the death door. If he doesn't die, we have a chance here. Okay, well. <laughs> I consider killing. I consider killing the exemplar uh, on your first run to be a win. As far as as far as this game goes, like if you can make oh, that was a crit too. There we go. Now we we're not over yet. It's gonna Azoic end us, but we did win. Hey, Mate, what's up? I ordered a dozen bees, but got thirteen. 
in life or in death. Turns out it was a freebie. I hate you. Yay, we beat the exemplar. Woo! It's it's doable. Unfortunately, that is the end of the run. Um we cannot continue because we don't have any other heroes uh to fill in our ranks. So we'll get to the end and we'll call it. First run on the first run on the account. I think that's a I I consider that a victory. In all honesty. First run on a fresh profile. We made it all the way through Exemplar. Yeah, we had two losses there, but hey, I mean, that's just, I think that's just part and parcel of it. The roaring heart it's definitely possible to, to, but yeah, look at these, look at these empty chairs. But that's a good amount of candles, right? So, so of course, at this point, we end the expedition. We do get to keep our candles because we beat the Exemplar. Um, there is no punishment for going to the mountain, so, like, we could go to the mountain and, like, attempt it, but we wouldn't win. So let's collect our hope, and I think we'll call that one a run. Um, yeah, we're only two hours in, though, so I say, I say we do another one. So let me go ahead and marker this, the end of that run. That was a pretty good run. Um, yeah, I'd say I consider that a victory, for sure.